Good afternoon, thank you. We're very pleased to share with you today that Trusted Knight has developed software that effectively and reliably solves the most threatening challenge in the financial internet community, stealth malware. This class of malware, which we term crimeware, is the predominant source of online financial fraud. I'm sure everyone in the room has heard about the cyber heists that took place last week, totaling over $45 million. Crimeware was at the heart of these attacks, and every significant security breach that has taken place over the last several years. Why is Crimeware so effective? Because its authors treat it as the multi-billion dollar business that it is. <clears throat> it is sophisticated software that is specifically designed to overcome every security measure that we've put in place over the last 15 years, including firewalls, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, SSL encryption, antivirus, even two-factor authentication, and it does so very successfully. However, all hope is not lost. We're here to demonstrate that Trusted Knight's patented technology, which we call Protector, has the capability to quickly and easily protect all browser-entered data from criminal key logging and man-in-the-browser attacks, also known as web injections that are targeting your customer PCs, laptops, and smartphones. Protector software is simple for customers to install, transparent to users, causes no system degradation in performance, and is effective against all crimeware, key logging, and web injection attacks. Here on screen, Trevor is displaying a virtual machine session that demonstrates both an infected PC and a crimeware emulator. The crimeware is collecting browser-entered data from the infected machine. In the web browser, you can see that the crimeware has manipulated the web page to request additional information. You would never see a request for ATM PIN on a legitimate banking site. This is the result of a web injection attack. As you can see, anything typed into the browser is collected by the Crimeware console. Recently, Crimeware toolkits and, and its source code have been made available on the web in the form of Zeus, SpyEye, and other Trojans. Since then, there's been a huge spike in the proliferation of zero-day Crimeware variants. These are new, undetected versions of Crimeware <coughs> that are... Uh, that can be deployed with a single mouse click to hundreds of thousands of infected devices around the world. This feature of Crimeware was introduced specifically to evade antivirus detection. Crimeware variants are released on the web. Uh, about ten, tens of millions are released on the web each year. As a result, criminals are able to infect customer devices more and more easily with stealth Crimeware. In fact, criminals claim to have infected over 100 million PCs in the U.S. alone, and antivirus products are incapable of detecting or removing these infections reliably. Trevor is now going to install Protector on the infected system. As consumers with crimeware-infected devices interact with banks and other businesses across the web, criminals are able to obtain browser-entered data <clears throat> via key logging attacks. They can get usernames and passwords from online bank accounts and credit card information from online purchases. They can log into your bank account as you and transfer money elsewhere. Further, criminals can override two-factor authentication mechanisms by taking control of authenticated sessions from the customer's machine itself without the customer's knowledge. Very scary. Now you see Protector installed. It takes just a few moments. And Protector is now protecting this infected machine, even though it was already infected with Crimeware. Crimeware is attempting to collect browser data again, this time unsuccessfully. You can see the form fields in the web page now shaded in yellow. This is indicating that Protector is installed and functioning properly. Also of note, 
is that the web page is no longer being manipulated. You don't see the request for the ATM pin. This means Protector has effectively defeated the web inject functionality of the crimeware. Protector simply stops criminals from obtaining customer information. And without that information, they can't commit fraud. Protector is already in use in a top 10 US bank in the US to protect its, its customers during online transactions. Their experience has been that associated fraud with crimeware has gone to zero in the 70 plus percent of their customers who have elected to use Protector. We at Trusted Knight envision that Protector can eliminate financial fraud associated with card not present internet transactions. In order to stimulate and educate the payment card industry to the benefits of Protector, I would like to announce that we are offering the payment card industry free of charge the newest member of the Protector family, PCI Protector, our new product that is specially designed to defeat key logging and man in the browser attacks on cardholder devices across the payment card industry to ensure safe transactions. Issuing banks and acquirers will want to ensure that their merchants and customers are installing PCI Protector on their devices before performing card not present transactions. By preventing criminals from obtaining cardholder information, we believe PCI Protector can eliminate hundreds of millions of dollars in financial fraud associated with card not present transactions. I hope this demonstration has given you some insight into Trusted Knight as a company, our strategic direction, and the value of our products to the banking and payment card industry. This is a call to action as we have an ideal solution to one of the most serious problems in the financial industry. Thank you for your time.